Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw another dinosaur from Jurassic World Dominion, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw the Pyroraptor. Now this one's definitely a little different from the other dinosaurs I've drawn because this one is going to actually have some feathers on it. So I hope you guys get to follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to begin with our Pyroraptor, we're going to begin over here with the face. So let's start with the eye. You want to begin by making a little line that's just going to go down, then it's going to come up and back like this, kind of like a check mark. Then right inside of here, we're going to make a little curved line for the eye. Then I'm going to add a little line down for the pupil. Starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go up and then it's going to come in. We'll make a little line underneath here and another little line kind of around here. A couple little broken ones. Next, starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come out and then it's going to come down a little bit. Then we're going to draw a little line that's going to come down and it's going to go up and down like this. Next, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down here. Then we're going to come down, and we're going to go up like this. We'll make a little curved line that comes down. Next, we're going to add a row of small pointed teeth on the bottom and on the top. Then we'll make a little line that's going to come out, and then it's going to come back down for the tongue. Make a little line here for the nose, and a little curved line that comes down. Now, starting back here, we're going to draw a little line that's going to go out, then we're going to make some little points like this, kind of like a little broken zigzag line. Now, starting up here, I'm going to make some feathers. So we're just going to make some long, kind of pointed lines that go back, or go out, and then they're going to come back. We're going to put a couple more under here, make them a few different sizes. Next, we're going to make kind of some more of those little zigzag lines here. Now starting here, we're going to make lines going to come down. We're going to make some little points. We're going to go up a little bit, and then we're going to bring them back down. Next, we're going to do that same thing. We're going to go up, and we're going to bring it all the way down to here for the tail. Then starting here, we're going to make some little pointed lines for the neck. And then we're going to bring them down a little farther. Now there's going to be a lot of feathers on this, especially for the arm. It almost looks like he has more wings than arms. So we're going to draw a line that's just going to come down. We're going to make a line that's going to come down and it's going to go straight down. So it goes an angle and then down. We're gonna add a couple long kind of finger-like shapes in here. Then we're gonna make these kind of little points all along here just to show where there's gonna be like some feathers that kind of form the arm. Now starting here, we're gonna draw some lines that go down and then we're going to come up like this, and we're going to make these into the feathers. So we're going to make these a little bit longer as they come out. And then we're going to start making them get a little bit smaller as they get 
farther up the arm. So we just go out and then bring them back in. And I'm gonna do this all the way until I get to that top of the arm. So just making them a little bit smaller so we get to about here. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a couple little points. And then I'm gonna make a line that's gonna come down and that's gonna go back here. I'm gonna make a line that comes down. And then I'm gonna make a line that's gonna go up and that's gonna come down for a big claw and we're gonna bring it down farther. Make a little point right here and then another one right here for another claw. Next I'm gonna bring this up and we're gonna bring it in. We're gonna add a few points on here so it looks like there's some more feathers. And then right up here, we're gonna make some different little kind of small points until I get to right about there. We're just trying to add a lot of texture on this guy. Now when I get to out here, I'm gonna make some of these longer points like this. I want them to be a lot of uh, really different shapes and sizes so that we can make it really look like there's lots of feathers. Starting here, I'm gonna make a line that comes down. We'll make a small claw here and then a second small claw right there. Then I'm gonna make a big pointed claw right here that's gonna go up. Now one of the last things we wanna do is to add this other arm. So we're gonna do that same thing. We're just gonna bring a line down, just how we did on this arm. And then we're gonna come out at an angle and then go farther down. This time we're gonna see more of the inside of the claw. So we're gonna add a couple kind of long pointed lines. And we're gonna make a little zigzag line that comes up. Then we're gonna make some little lines that just come back. And we're gonna bring some little lines up here. Now, once we have all this drawn, we have our basic shape of our pyroraptor. Now we just wanna come in here and add some of the different details. So let's start on the feet. I'm gonna add some little curved lines for some claws. And I like to add a couple extra lines in there for a little bit more detail. We'll add some little broken lines coming up here. And then we'll add a couple little extra detail lines right along here. We'll add some little lines there. And we're gonna add some little lines here. Next, we're gonna make some long broken lines right along the top and then bottom of the mouth. I'm gonna add another little line right here. And then we'll add some extra little lines right in here as well. A couple along the back and even along the tail and the leg just for a little bit of detail. And we'll make a little line that goes up and then curves in. And there you go, there's your drawing of a pyroraptor from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.